If you want to create amazing AI-generated images in any style with a lot of settings and a user-friendly interface than mid-journey, and absolutely free, this video is for you. I've been looking for something better, and I finally found it. Today I'm going to talk about how to use it and how to get the most out of your prompts. So let's move on to the functionality. On the left side of the menu is the Home button. Below it there is a Community Fit button, and here all the art is created by this community. This is a very useful tab. Here you can not only view the artworks of others, you can even download their works to your own. We can make a remix or copy someone else's prompt. The text will be copied to your clipboard and you can paste it here in Leonardo or in Playground or Midjourney. Also, the Image to Image button will help you use that image as a sample for your next work. Top Trending tab. Here you can borrow not only prompts, but also inspiration from other people's work. Personal Feed. Here are your generated pictures. Followers Feed. These are the new pictures of the people you are subscribed to. And Liked Feed. These are your likes of other people's images. Training and Datasets. These are the results of your models, on which you've trained AI to achieve the best results. But I'll make a separate video about that. AI Canvas, Beta. You can use this function like Photoshop. For example, we have a drawing with a girl, but she doesn't have a background drawn on top. We select this fragment and paint it as a mask and write what we want at the bottom. For example, we want to make more of the background. And Leonardo adds a background on top of the ears. And we are offered to choose one option out of four. I choose the one that I think is the best. Next, we create a new picture of the girl with the image to image function. The previous image I made in the style of RPG 4.0 and the new one I will make using the Dream Shaper model. I wrote my prompt, and plus a description of the negative query. I wait for the generation and get two images. One of them I do not like, and so I delete it. The more you make edits to your image and generate new ones, the more tokens you have to spend, which is updated daily. In the morning, you get 250 tokens. That's it for me. That was the first brief guide. Like it and subscribe. Also write yours in the comments. Bye.